the very beginning, there was a flash of fire, and at that moment, that lightning. In a moment of darkness, and so, it was with the nature of light. Have change for a 20. A 20? Yeah. Um, what do you need exactly? Just a quarter. <laughs> well, I've got some quarter. Oh my god, thank you. I really appreciate sure, it. Sure, no worries. Everybody's not the same. Um, they actually asked me to come out here, and that's who I was supposed to meet as my agent. They said you were bus ticket. And they're not here. It's an old story. Hollywood's one tough town. Let me think. I, I live in my car, so <laughs> I mean, a lot of people do that to get by. Uh, if you don't have anywhere better, you can stay in my car on the back seat tonight. Tomorrow, I have a friend, Helen Starr. You guys might hit it off. You might be able to stay with her. She won't let me stay with her, but you guys might, uh, might be all right together. I'll introduce you. 
Look, I'll buy you a cup of coffee and we'll talk it over. Okay? I guess I really don't have any choice to. So, uh, so who was that girl last night? What is it with you? You gotta know everything? No, I just wanna know who that girl was. Why don't we get you some coffee and if you can hold it down, maybe we'll talk. <laughs> okay. Lighten up. All right. So how's it going? Good. Good. She was oh, cute. Did a nice little, Yeah, uh, well, guess what? Whole package working for it. Whole package. Something else I want to talk about. Huh? I've got a few things on the back burner. And I have someone coming in this week. Her name's Donna. Donna, huh? Yeah. I'd like you to meet her. Okay. Not the blonde schmuck. Listen, I don't have much time. I'm going to the club. Sports, you know? Play a few rounds. Endurance, ability, focus. Endurance, goals, ability. It's a funny thing with sports. If you go out of your boundaries, automatically, you're a schmuck. Hey, what's going on with the shipment? Same as always, it's on the back burner. Like uh, I said, if you listen to me. Same as always, I don't want to. Listen to me, I told you something's on the back burner. Would you shut up? All right, all right. I, I just hope it's better than the last stuff, right? I'm having trouble you moving know that stuff. You what to do with it? Come on. No, yeah, no. Hey, it's garbage. It's I hard said, to move. You know what to do with it? Come on. No, I don't know what to do with it. I can't move garbage. You give me something good, I'll Mario. get rid of it. When you're not focused, you're a schmuck, is what I'm saying. Yeah? What are you saying? I'm not, I'm not focused? Sometimes you're not. What do you mean sometimes? What the fuck is that now? Because sometimes I just don't get what I need from you. And what is that? What are you getting? Look. Lighten up. Okay? All right, all right, all right. Don't touch me, though, please. Not now. Just lighten up. Look. I always know what to do with it. Listen, I've got trust in you. I gotta go. Hi. Okay. Bye. Hi. I'll see you. Yeah. Broken heart. 
What are you doing out here? Well, it's sort of a long story. Give me the Reader's Digest version. I actually um, won a contest back home, and um, the prize was to come out to L.A., and also to be an actress. <laughs> what sort of contest is this? It was a beauty contest. I can see that. But why do you want to act? Um, because when I was young, actually when I was younger, um, I used to pretend a lot, sort of like I was in an imaginary world, and it was sort of like acting. So, um, one day I met this, uh, acting teacher, and he kind of gave me the idea to become an actress, and, um, he had his own acting class, and he pushed me at it very much, and I kind of got stuck with it or something. That's it. You're attached. But you're driving me crazy because you're always shutting your eyes. I didn't think you would notice that. I noticed. Why? Because when I close my eyes um, real tight and then look at the sun and then you open them really, really fast, it's like you see this beautiful, beautiful red color. It's sort of like an apricot red. Try it. I see. It's an apricot sky. Well, well, I never thought of it like that, but um, yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, when there's a lot of color around, it's nice. It's fun, isn't it? God, Gail, you're just one spunky Sheila. In Australia, that means a vivacious, attractive young woman. Looks, personality, are what make an actor go. You're in there with the sharks, but I think you've got a great chance. Cheers. Hello. What? Damn. No, I don't know. What, she's, she's what? Oh. All right, fine, I'll take care of it. No, I told you I'd take care of it. No problem, huh? Huh, it's the nada. I, I got it covered. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll call you, I'll call you right back. Ten minutes. Okay, fine. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, it's Whitey. You, you know what fucking happened. I want to meet with you. Yeah, the usual place. Right away. Be there. Buddy. Hey, man, take it easy. Take it easy. Relax. What's Where the going fuck on? is the medallion? I don't know. I got someone on it. Yeah, you got someone on it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, your ass is mine. Hey, 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 hey relax, all right? Just take, hey, take I'm easy. relaxed, take it huh? Easy, all right. I got some people talking to me about killing all right, my kids. All right, do you understand right. that? Oh, yeah, I do. Just take hey, it. Hey, hey, just relax, all right? Just calm down, man. It's all right. I got to take it. Oh, care yeah. Of. Well, tell me about it, huh? I got someone on it, all right? Oh, yeah. Well, where's the fucking medallion? It's all right. It's so the dame is dead. Did you check her clothes, huh? I, I, I had nothing to do with that. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Just take take it easy, all right, all right. Re relax, man, it's okay. Oh, you've got someone on it. Where the fuck is the medallion? The bitch is dead, man. Dead. I don't give a fuck. You've got 48 hours. That's it, man, your ass is mine. I, don't... I got it, man, I got someone on it. Take care of it, Good. take care of it, man. Just, just take it easy, all right? Fuck.
Dear Father Mike Mitchell, I hope that this letter finds you in the best of health and close to God. The reason that I am contacting you is to inform you that you will have to go to Los Angeles, California as soon as possible. There is hope that the secret medallion has surfaced in that area. It was stolen from a geological find in the northern tip of Africa not too long ago. I can't give you any more information other than what I've been told. It's a little out of my duties. I am sending you a picture of the medallion and also the name of your contact. The flight has been set up for tomorrow. Sincerely, Karen. P.S. I still remember at night, under the full moon. Father Mitchell? Yeah, who are you? I'm Duval. I'm your contact while you're here. If there's anything I can get you, please let me know and I'll make sure it's handled. Well, Mr. Duval, there's a lot that you can get me. Mainly, I want to know one thing. Is everything set for me here in Los Angeles? Everything's ready. Super. Super. I'm going to take you back to a hotel right now so you can walk. Take a rest, and then we'll go out and get some eat for a while. Well, rest is not as important right now. How about some food? Okay. I can't work on an empty stomach, you know? All right. What's All your right. pleasure? Sushi. Sushi. Sushi it is. Sushi sounds good. Okay, let's go. Oh, shoot. Uh, yes, this is Gail Young. Um, is there any way you can get a hold of him? Well, no, I don't have a phone number right now, but, um, I guess I'll just try back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, thank you.
days left. I gotta finish up. I got some information I gotta check out. Next couple days, it'll all be done. When you leave as you came, no mess. Got it. She's in right now. Let's get her a call, shall we? Now you behave yourself. This could be fun. Hello? It's Uncle Freddy. <laughs> Do you remember me? Where's your mommy? She went to the store? Why didn't you go to the store with your mommy? Because you want to talk to Uncle Freddy. Hi. Can you say that, Uncle Freddy? Yeah, you do. He's your mommy's brother. Yeah. 
Say Uncle Freddy. Say Uncle Freddy. Say Uncle Freddy. Say it! God damn it. She hung up again. I don't like it when she hangs up. I don't like it when she hangs up on Uncle Freddy. Change the signs when you open up your life. Is it really such a crime that the world is so blind? Turn. You know, I I was walking in my garden one day, and I saw this little worm, and I said, "Little worm, you have no one to play with." So I took that little worm, and I cut him in half. And then I said, now, little worm, you have someone to play with. They look good, you know, like that handsome dude the other night at that bar on third. Fan fucking tastic. Hey, you, he says. And I turn around, and here's this beautiful guy, all dimples and hair. He was dazzling, chrome plated. Hurts your eyes just to look at him. So I turn around and I say, You talking to me? Are you talking to me? And he says, Yeah, how about it? You and me, a couple of drinks, if you buy, that is. If I buy, that is? Could you imagine a guy yelling, hey, you, and then having the balls to insist that you buy his drinks? <laughs> Insulting, right? This is different. I'm thinking. Hey, man. What's up? <laughs> G'day, Gail. Yeah. Oh, you know, <laughs> Get it right. That's how we keep track of them all. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. These clothes would look great on my floor. Mm -hmm. Do it to me one more time. Again. That's Again. it. Twice is enough. Twice is enough. Uh, yes. You never guess what washed up on the Venice beach. <gasps> what? That I found yesterday. You mean I can't undress? No, not right now. I met this young thing from Ohio, I think. Mm -hmm. She's, she came to Hollywood to be an actress. Unusual, right? Hey, Ned. Um, I got an answer, but it wasn't the agent, it was the secretary. But I'll know if I have a place to stay by tomorrow. Hi. Well, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Helen Starr, Gail Young. Pleased Hi. to meet you. you. Hi, welcome. Helen's a stand-up comedian. Really? He's told me a lot about you. You're an actress, right? Yeah, soon to be one, actually. Uh-huh. And, uh, Helen, what sort of comedy do you do? Oh, just about anything that comes to my head. A little of this, a little of that. I used to study belly dancing, but I was a big joke. So I decided, instead of having people laugh at me, they can laugh with me. Well, yeah, but I came here to <laughs> Hollywood. Be an actor or to work behind the scenes. I just want to make it big. You're not the only one here, Gail, with an unusual story. Everyone comes here. This. It's an underground newspaper. It's pure education and comedy. How much do people get paid doing something like this? I don't know, a couple of hundred bucks. People just trying to get by until the big break happens. No, oh, I came here to be an actress. So that's did... what they came here for. All these people act? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know if I can do this. I'm sure that's what they said when they first came out here. Anyway, I gotta get going. I have to do my rehearsal. I have a show tonight. I'm sorry. Why don't you go see Len? Tell him to bring you by my place around, let's say, 6 o'clock. Drop your stuff off. Sure. Do you, okay. do you know where he went? I think he's outside. Okay. Well, okay. thank you. I really do appreciate sure. it. Sure. Bye. Bye.
At first they look good, you know? Like that handsome dude the other night at that bar on 3rd. Fan-fucking-tastic. Hey, you, he says. And I turn around, and here's this beautiful guy, all dip... Father Mitchell? Father Mitchell? Mitchell? Father Mitchell! Karen Sharp. How are you doing? What are you doing here? You're not in Rome. I was sent here. We've been trying to get in touch with you. What have we been? We've been awfully busy. This whole medallion thing has just gotten crazy. Either is this Mario Duvall? I don't know. Do you think he's trustworthy? No, I don't. One minute he has a medallion, next minute he doesn't. I smell something fishy, Karen. Where is this guy now? I can put you in contact with him, but I think our friend, Mr. Duvall, needs to have a little talk with me. It's time to turn up the heat. All right. Now, I'm going to take care of this Mario. You don't need to do anything, OK? You get in touch with him. You don't worry about it. I'll do it, OK? OK. All right, good. Well, tell me how you've been. Are you enjoying your stay in California? Oh, yes, I am. It's a wonderful place to live and die. Oh, that is more true than you know. All right. I'll be in touch, OK? OK, call me at the Beverly Hilton. Got it. All right. Bye, darling. All right, bye. So who's the chick here? The chick? This is Miss Wonderful Body from Ohio. Oh. Oh. She's out here to become an actor. All right, man. So how you doing? Fine. How are you? Pretty good. So you smoke any? Sometimes. Well, if you ever need anything, man, I'm the guy you want to see. Sure. He's one of the local dealers. Yeah. I'm the only one with the best stuff in town, so, you know, don't even think about going anywhere else. If you have need anything, just look me up, all right? Okay, give me a dime. All right, man. Here you go. Bye. Bye. See you later. God. Isn't that kind of dangerous? I hear it's dangerous for your sex drive. Hasn't hurt mine yet. I don't know. Isn't he, he's kind of young, especially to be selling. He's a street kid. He's been living on the streets all his life. I think he'll always be on the streets selling. What about his parents? They don't want anything to do with him. He lives with his sister. I did not think he's even seen his parents in the last few years. Wow. I guess that's Hollywood for you. Yep. I'm Karen Sharp. I need to speak to you. Oh, Karen. Uh, listen, I'm on my way out. <laughs> it's very important. All right, come on in. Miss Sharp, what can I do for you? Why haven't I heard from you? What have you been doing? I've been busy. What do you mean you've been busy? I'm trying to get your medallion, aren't I? You're trying to get it? Father Mitchell said you already had it. That's right. It's been misplaced. What do you mean it's been misplaced? Listen, there's a lot of people involved here, OK? I'll have it. Don't worry about it. Just sit back and relax. How many people are you having working on this thing? Uh, it doesn't concern you, OK? I got enough, all right? I got for WS for the What are you talking about? You're the one who hired me, all right? Exactly. You work for me. That's great. I give you exactly 24 hours. Or Listen, I got to get going, on. all right? Are we done here? See you later. I'm here for the, uh, the bondage video. Excuse me? Is Len or Mitzi here? Um, actually, Len's here somewhere, but I don't know who Mitzi is. Where are you from? Ohio. Well, I'm Bree's bondage. Gail Young. Um, just tell when I stopped in. Long ways from Ohio, kid. Bye. Bye.
penny for your thoughts. Hope it's more than that. I see you're looking into the past. And hope for a better future. What about now? What about it? Why don't you tell me about it? You want me to tell you a little story? Yes. Tell me why the hell the medallion is so important. Once upon a time, there was a great king who fell under the magical, mystical powers of a beautiful woman named Sheba. Solomon was the king. You're telling me this medallion belongs to What's her? more important is that the metal used to make the medallion is believed to come from another space in that time. We're talking UFOs? Yes, that is what's believed. L.A. is not the Middle East. The medallion was lost. The Syrians invaded the Holy Land, and at that same time, the Ark of the Covenant moved to Ethiopia. Yes. How'd you know that? How do I know this? How do I know this? Let's just say that I know, and that's why the medallion must be found right away. Jerry, is this a ruse? What do you mean? Well, I heard that it's all a scam from you to smuggle your country. That's a ridiculous thought. You're only listening to the jealous voices of everybody who's been trying and searching and have come up with nothing. You get those thoughts out of your head and you concentrate on finding the medallion. Right? Well, I hope finding it will be easier to understand than your other explanations How of your... How is it that the Vatican does not trust me? After all, my reward is a very, very, very handsome sum. Just make sure that I have complete freedom to move from South America to here. Okay? We never go back on our word. Good. By the way, I hope Mario is working out for you. Expected, then you have an appointment. Well, I thought it was next week. No. Have a seat. Thanks. Would you like some coffee? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know. Hey. You're even more beautiful in person than you are in your photo. Well, uh, I can't admit it's not that uh, good. That's okay. We're going to get you new photos. Oh, my God, that would be so good. Yeah, we have an itinerary set up for I you. I need some stronger pictures. We have a whole, whole itinerary set up for you. Okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Relax. You're in an industry where you set your own standards. Right. Don't let anything get in the way. Just the things that help you expand a bit. So what have you been up to? Well, you Um... The craziest thing happened to me. I actually um. Considered... The craziest thing. Yes, the craziest, the craziest I've ever, ever done. Um, mm -hmm. I um, when I got here, I thought that you were gonna be there. I thought that uh, you were coming to pick me up. Right. Um, and you weren't. So I kind of was scared for a little bit. And I was kind of upset, and I met this this guy. He was real nice. 
and um, he let me stay in his car with him. And it was the craziest thing that I ever did. The craziest thing you ever but did? It, it was interesting. It was, it was an experience. It was a very big experience, yes. Good experience, huh? It was nice, but, um, you know, I'm very glad to be here, trust me. Well, Hollywood is more than you think. Yeah, I can already tell. Yeah, a lot of different experiences. But you seem to be ready for a lot of different experiences. I hope so. Don't worry. The important thing is you're here. You obviously get along with people, and you're good in any kind of situation, right? I have a full itinerary for you. Photo sessions, meetings. You're a very beautiful lady. Thank you. You don't have to think about too much. Just go with the flow. Don't ask too many questions, and you'll be fine. <laughs> a woman like you can, can afford to do that. <laughs> and your physical attributes are obviously one of your most important things, and uh, it's good that you know that. How's your dancing lately? Oh, um, actually, well, when I was back home, it was going real good. Uh, but I haven't danced since I've been here, because I don't really know where to go. Um, well, it's good that you, you know, you're aware of your physical attributes, and you're willing to use them. It's very important. A right, woman like right. you doesn't have to say much. <laughs> Just listen. Mm -hmm. Don't ask too many questions. Don't pretend like you know too much or you want to know too much. Just listen, right. and you'll be fine. Right. You don't have to say much at all. Okay. Okay? You'll be great. We have a lot to talk about. We have a, a large itinerary to get into. We have many plans. Coffee? Espresso? Oh. Little continental style. Oh, top. Don't burn your fingers. It's okay. You have beautiful hands. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. I want to say child, but I know that could be insulting. You're a beautiful woman. Thank you. And it's important I'm that you, yeah, young woman, mm -hmm. young lady, it's okay. important that you understand and welcome it, and embrace it well, and you're willing to uh, experience and utilize your physical attributes, which is very important. You know that exposure is important in any way that you can utilize your energies at this point is important, right? Mm -hmm. You're in the beginning stages, you want to be successful, you utilize what you have, and you go forward. Right. You're right. New pictures. Everything that I was thinking about. Good. In terms of our photographers, we use different types of photographers for different types of shoots. The one that I'd like you to work with is Mario. Mario has shot, as you see, a lot of diversified advertisements, and we That's also magazine? yeah, some magazines, and we also do you know some standard beauty oh, stuff, wow. headshots and so forth. But I don't want you to be too consumed or wrapped up with that. In right. terms of cost. Uh, basically, what we'll do is, out of the first job or two, we'll take the uh, fee for mm -hmm. the photographer from that. And the first job or two may not be the most exciting, but whatever. Right. You know, we don't want to put any limitations on anything. We want you to just be able to expand yourself and your horizons and your learning experience, right? It's mm -hmm. not for learning experience. I'm excited. I want to start working there. Right? Um, marketing's everything, and looking at you, looking at your photos, meeting you now, I'd like to go with Sheba Knight for your theatrical name. You look exotic enough to be able to carry that off. Sheba Knight. Sheba Knight. I, I enjoy myself, but mm -hmm. I do want to start working because that's what I came here for. I'm pretty excited. Mm -hmm. you know, Things so first. Nice. We're going to go down to the co-op. We're going to see if there's an opening. Mm -hmm. If there's not, we'll work it out. The okay. co-op is where most of the models stay. I'm sure oh, okay. you've heard about it. And I love it. Yeah. Okay. So don't worry. Sounds Everything's good. Everything's going to be great. Okay. We'll get the hair trimmed up. You know, some... Not short, right? No, just trimmed. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll make you feel good. Okay. All right. That's good. Okay. So let's get a bite. Well, this looks good. You got a really strong and long lifeline with crosses in it. What do the crosses mean? They just add emphasis. They, mm. you know, okay. good, healthy, healthy. All right. Mm. And your fortune line. Oh, my gosh! A budget film! No! <laughs> yeah! Starring Breeze Bondage! No, no, no. Woo! 
fabulous breezy bondage. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. All right, all right. What about me? <laughs> let's hear some me stuff. Mm, let's see. I I have a a brunette. <laughs> Which came up. She said she'd be doing some cheap photos with you. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Does that mean I'll be working with her? Maybe. Play your cards right. I'll be nice to her. Be nice to her. Be very nice to her. I like this one. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I can teach her a thing or two. I bet you could. Yeah. I got a couple tricks. All right, listen. I got to ask you something. Now, what's going on with this medallion? I mean, you know, I, I need some information. Um, Anything? I heard, I heard uh, somebody in the dressing room was talking about a medallion found on the beach. What do you mean, they found it on the beach? Well, they found it on the beach. Who, who found it on the beach? Uh, just a friend out that I work with. I had to go on... Forget about going on stage, all right? Find the goddamn medallion, all right? I need that. All right. It's a little thing, okay? All right. We'll get the medallion, okay? All right. All, all right. right? All right. to you because first of all I came down to your office and you're not you know you weren't there and you didn't call me back and Mitzi wasn't there and these stills that we did in the video are out there you know it's gonna be great promotion for you I know several magazines that have wanted you and so I'm, I'm getting them some stills of you and uh, we should be getting some checks soon so uh, you bet that you'll be part of the... Residual? That's All just right. the word I've got to use. <laughs> You're a All sharp right. one. As long as I'm in there, that's... that's it. Yeah, they're in there. And I'm doing another shoot in a week, and... Uh, now you're my favorite. <laughs> and uh, I'll throw in some extra money from the residuals uh, still. So, uh, I'll take care of it. How much? <laughs> I'll split it, split it with you, uh, 50-50, I'll show you the checks, and so... Okay. I'll bring it with me, and, uh, you'll have some extra That money. sounds good. Cool. See, I'm glad I called you. Yeah, you look great. I always enjoy being around you. So, what's up with that dead girl that was on the beach? I don't think anything's up with her. Oh, really? It's strange, I found this, uh, this medallion. And uh, that's, uh, that's all that I've come away from the whole experience with. It's a strange thing to remember if I... Oh, this is a weird town. Well, weird let's see it. What's it look like? You know, well, it's not my thing. Uh, I'm trying to think, where is it? Oh, this other, this other model. Uh, seeing if there's a picture. Uh, no, uh, but anyway, I'll lend her the medallion, and, uh, but I'll get it back from her. It's, it's interesting, I mean, I don't think it's any big deal, but sure. I mean, you could do something hot with it if you like. Yeah, yeah, like next, yeah, I'd like to do a shoot with it. It's probably got some kind of force about it since it it was in the hands of a person that died. Yeah. <laughs> You're macabre. <laughs> this town is macabre. Yeah. I came here to act and uh, I didn't come here to do these types of videos. I came here to act to, to share my perspective on life and I'm selling out. That's what I feel that I'm selling out. I feel almost do anything to get by. Well, we all have to keep our head above the water somehow, you know. Producing's good. You can always, you can always show and give your. But everyone's doing it. I mean, all the ads in here for beautiful women, for modeling, for lingerie, for 
adult movies, everyone's doing it. People would do anything to get by. Adult entertainers wanted, girls modeling, size 18. D cups, E cups, we want you in the movies. This isn't why I came to Hollywood, Breezy. <laughs> this would be good for me. Beautiful, sexy ladies. <laughs> That's you, but... Oh, nude. <laughs> nude erratic video. I'm not too far out there anyway. See, they get paid up to two, two to five hundred. I came to touch people's emotions, okay. not their bodies. All right. Well, listen, let's, let's um, get it together. Okay. Do like next week? Yeah, next week, Wednesday, 2 o'clock at the studio. Uh, Mitsu will be there. And, uh, Okay. Well, yeah. Cool. So I'll wear nothing but the medallion. So I'll go back to I talked to my agent. I went. I just came back from the scene, and um, he's got me a place to stay. So I don't have to stay with Helen anymore. I got a, my own little like, hotel or something like that. Well, do you have anything to say? Well, wild, lonely foreign girls want to talk to me now. 107-181. OK, I'm just having a little fun. I mean, live enough here. X-rated phone sex is back. I'm sorry. All right, sounds like your agent believes in you. You got a place to stay. You may have a role in a movie. Hey, hey. Congratulations, Gail Young. It didn't start so easy for you out here, but I think you may make it yet. Glenn, I mean, what about what's going on with you? What about a place to stay instead of staying in your car? I like my car, but... Uh... I may be moving up in the world. Got a little project. Like? I do video artistry. Yes, I make videos. Now, you can't believe everything Helen tells you. It's not so bad, just a little hanky panky spanky. What do I mean? Bondage. Haven't you ever wanted to be, just completely give yourself up to another man, to be completely in his power, to give up all responsibility? There's a great freedom in total escape from freedom, and to be completely at the mercy of someone else. Don't you ever feel guilty for your sins? Isn't there a part of you that wants to be punished? I don't know. Nothing really surprises me here anymore. It's like I'm expecting everything to happen. Before everything used to be such a big deal, but now I kind of feel dirty or something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel as clean as I used to be when I was back home. Yeah, is Mr. Duvall in? Um, sure, come on in. Thank you. Hi, I'm Monica. What did you say your name was? Gail Young. Gail Young? Oh, okay. I think Mr. Duvall was expecting you. If you'd like to go ahead and have a seat, and then I'll let him know you're here. Okay, thank you. Sure. Mr. Duvall, Gail's here to see you. Gail? Who's Gail? Gail Young, Jerry Swift's girl. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, how's she look? Another sweet cheeks. All right. She look as nice as you? Gail's here. Do you want to see her or not? Yeah, send her up, please. Gail, come on in. Hi. How you doing? How are you? You look nice. Thank you. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you. I'm Duval. Nice to meet you. All right. Is that your portfolio? Oh, yeah. Think Go I can ahead. look through it? Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. Who uh, who took these pictures? Oh, God. A whole bunch of different photographers. Different ones, huh? Yeah. Was this taken out here? Um, no. Actually, everything was taken back in Ohio. Ohio? Uh-huh. Is that where you're from? Yeah. Yeah?
best of all. Who? Lynn. Oh. Well, get rid of the guy. Well, however you do that, I guess. Yes. Well, I'd do that now, wouldn't you? All right, now call me back when it's done, all right? All right. Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, it was nice meeting you, and uh, I want you to make an appointment with my uh, assistant, Monica. You met her when you came in, all right? Okay. And uh, let's get together on Wednesday. Is that good for you? Um, yeah, sure. That's let's, great. Let's get together at 12, 12 o'clock. Uh, don't wear any makeup. Okay. Wash your hair, but don't do anything to it. Don't dry it. Just don't even comb it, all right? Okay. And bring some clothes that you feel comfortable in. Uh, Anything. That's good when you have on, too. Uh, skirts, maybe some jeans, if you have some tight jeans. Uh -huh. um, shorts. Shorts, yeah. And I'll try to get something. Okay. And uh, we'll get something going. Okay. I think uh, you look good. I think okay. we can do something. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. It was really nice. Yeah. You. I'll see you again. Bye. All right. How's it going? Is this the hotel? Yeah. You want to go in? <laughs> Go in? Yeah. You crazy? No. What if he's in there? He's not. There's no one there. How'd you know? I just know. There's no one in there. I thought this guy Len was leaving out of his car. Yeah, he, he Len's not around. And and the guy that owns it, Joey, he's at his girlfriend's or something. <laughs> you've been stupid. How do you know that? I just know. I got people on it, right? You just know. Yeah. Don't, you're don't dumb worry or what? Don't you have somebody taking care of this kind of work for you? I can get Whitey to take care of it. It's no big deal. We can go in ourselves. No, I'm not going to go in there and risk everything. Are you nuts or something? All right, fine. I'll get Whitey to take care of it. Well, you better. Bye-bye. Don't. Du bist fertig, Arschloch. Ich weiß nicht, was du so mit mir redest. Ich weiß nicht, was du so mit mir redest. Ich weiß nicht, was du mit mir redest. Ich weiß wirklich nicht. What the fuck is she talking about? I mean, this is America. Speak English. Christ. How you doing? I'm all right. How you doing? Take your feet. No, come on. Sure. Hey, how There you go. Thank you. Take your feet, sir. Uh, coffee. I told you not to call me, Mr. Duval. I know, I know. I, I got it, man. I found that thing. You got the medallion? Yeah. In your, where is it then? I don't have it on me. I know where it is. Mr. Duval, there's a big difference. Yeah. I, know. I have been in that hotel now for two days, two days waiting, with empty promises by you. We have no deal if I don't have the medallion. All right, all right. I got it. I'm going to get it to you, okay? Take it easy. This is getting ridiculous. All right. You don't call me unless you have it. All right. an emergency. I need to talk to you. So please pick up the phone. find the thing, no medallion. I had a problem. Like what? I was interrupted. 
This chick walked in, so uh, I did her. You killed her? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's not all. This kid walked in, so I did him, too. You killed him, too? Yeah. Oh. What'd you do with the bodies? I left the bodies. You left the bodies? Of course I left the bodies. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll find them there. Where's the necklace? I don't know. We'll find it. I think we're on the wrong track here. No, man. There's too much shit going down. Too many people. We gotta there. find that necklace. Yeah, we'll find it. Don't worry about it. Now right, listen, I gotta get back out there. Yeah, right. I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah. Sure. Listen, I, I got a split. Yeah, I'm hot. Somebody's on to me. I don't know who, but no, this this ain't gonna work. No, forget about the medallion, man. I'm telling you, I'm fucking hot. Put somebody else on it. No, I am out of here. I don't give a shit what you say. Oh yeah, well yeah, try it. Yeah, if you can find me, jerk. Same to you, asshole. Where's the medallion? I don't know where you're talking about. Oh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Listen, I don't have time for this, huh? For sure. Oh, no. 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 Mike. Right. So what we talked about on the phone. You have it with you? Mind if I see it? So this is the medallion. The one I've been looking for. I think about bloody hell. The last six weeks. Ever since that fell into my life. Jesus. Well, not that I don't want to hear your problems, pal, but I'm just after one thing, and this is the medallion. What's the significance? Well, significance to you, I don't know. To be honest, I really don't care. Jeremy? Well, it seems the joke's on us, because this is a forgery. I guess it was all about nothing and something.
I see everything went all right. Couldn't have been easier. Piece of cake. That's it. It's all here. Right in this little box. All of it. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I... Three million dollars is a lot of money. Yeah, I hope so, too. Woo! Not too many people pulling over the Vatican, huh? No. You did a good job. You sure everything's there? I think so. Three million dollars. Wow. Well, Mario? Great things unfold as the dance begins. Why? The greatest crime is one that you never heard of. You, my long, dear friend. Well, you know too much. Thank you.